Capricorns, welcome back. So today we're doing a general message for your sign, which of course means that this may or may not resonate with every single one of you watching. Okay, again, it is general. Um, also, the energy can be interchangeable. It could be the other person feeling this way or yourself. Just take it how it fits for you, okay? Um, also, guys, I will not be doing any personal readings at this time. However, I will be sure to let you all know when I start back, okay? So um, up here at the top, we've got your oracle messages. On the left, we've got your energy, okay, Cappy? In the center, we have your partner or whoever you're connected with here. And then on the right, we've got some near future potential outcome energy. So where things could be headed here soon, as well as some advice messages at the bottom, okay? So let's get going. Um, starting off here, we have pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Well, some of you may need to um, trust your gut instinct or use your intuition here. Um, you know, if it's a person, place, or thing that seems a little bit off or something's not right, then um, you need to pay attention to that, okay? That's what Spirit is saying here. Now, next, we've also got romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. And we've also got give your relationship a chance and work on your partnership, okay? So um, let's start with your energy over here on the left. All right, Cappy. So you guys have the Hierophant and the Six of Wands. Some of you could be connected with the Taurus here. There also could be a marriage involved. Maybe you guys are married to each other or other people um, that, you know, obviously won't resonate with everyone. But I'm seeing here where some of you, if you're single, I'm seeing where now you're starting to get into the energy where you may want a higher level of commitment, okay? Not saying that you're needy or that you're pressed for a relationship, but um, ideally that may be where some of you might want to uh, be at in the in the future, okay? Because you know your worth now with the Six of Wands, it represents victory, success, attention, recognition respect okay so some of you you're not willing to settle anymore all right you like this person some of you may actually care for them or be in love with them but you're also not willing to settle either okay now um they have the ace of cups and the queen of swords they're not willing to settle either okay guys uh with the ace of cups that represents a lot of self-love self care nurturing okay and the queen of swords she can be kind of a serious energy maybe a little bit cold and insensitive maybe seems a little bit detached here so some of you if this person has been giving you the cold shoulder um don't feel bad about that okay because underneath this cold exterior is a lot of love with the ace of cups okay i hope that makes sense to you all now you guys also have the page of pentacles and the two of pentacles so some of you you're still willing to give to this connection even if it is something as small as communication but you may be juggling here with the two of pentacles it could be a decision maybe you're trying to figure out if you should actually deal with them or not um this also could be about finances for some of you okay again this is a general message this is not about love for everyone, okay? It could be about work, family, friends, whatever, okay? Just take it um, how it fits for you. But anyway, um, yeah, so you could be juggling somebody else too, okay? Some of you, maybe you're the player here. Maybe you got something going on with them and, you know, another person or there are several people who want to date you and, you know, you know, you guys are getting a lot of attention from a lot of people for some with the Six of Wands there. But um, anyway, I do more so see this as, you trying to figure something out here, okay, whether or not you actually want to invest in this. And speaking of investing, they have the Seven of Pentacles and the Three of Wands. Both of these energies represent waiting, okay? So um, some of you could be dealing with someone who's at a distance from you. Maybe they're in a different city, a different state town whatever okay but um whether they're away from you or not this person is doing a lot of thinking about you and your guys's future possibly okay with uh three of wands considering where things could grow or um you know wondering if there's actually potential here for the two of you okay now you guys have the king of swords and the sun card all right so some of you could be dealing with a leo here now the king of swords he can be very uh detached kind of cold okay so some of you you could be um you know giving this person a cold shoulder maybe you're ignoring them maybe some of you don't want to open up emotionally okay but intuitively i feel this person does make you happy in some way okay but maybe you're just not really ready to show that to them yet and you could be being a little bit stubborn here <laughs> all right now they have the moon card and the queen of pentacles yeah they still want to give to this okay with the queen of pentacles there but they could be hiding how they really feel or there could be some sort of fear here some of you this person if you're the one that left if you ghosted them or disappeared they're fearing that you're not going to come back okay because the three of wands again represents waiting and then we have fear here with the moon card some of you could be dealing with the pisces so yeah they may be wondering 
if you're going to uh, return here. All right. So let's come on over here to the right to your near future uh, energy. We've got the Empress and the Page of Cups. Yeah, this person, they see you as someone who's very beautiful, handsome. Okay. If you're a male watching, um, it represents growth, expansion, abundance. All right. They may be uh, apologetic about something as well with the Page of Cups here, but there are feelings and emotions still involved in this situation. Somebody's thinking about reaching out. Okay. Because somebody wants justice here. Libra energy, all right? This also could pertain to a legal situation, court, divorce, you know, child support, whatever, all right? But um, this represents good karma, balancing the scales and fairness, okay? Somebody's still holding back though with the Four of Pentacles, okay? And maybe being a little bit stingy here too, either with finances or their time, effort, whatever, okay? But, um, you know, the, the Four of Pentacles is an interesting card because it represents selfishness and somebody being really greedy, but it can also also represent someone wanting to hold on tightly to something okay so some of you you're dealing with someone who wants to have their cake and eat it too okay it's like maybe they want you um and somebody else okay they want to hold on to you for their own selfish reasons and they're you know in the end they're not really giving you much at all okay they're being stingy or greedy about something now um next we've also got the nine of wands and the tower okay so somebody here is tired burnt out ready to give up on this um, you know, and, and very defensive and guarded as well, maybe a little bit paranoid about something. And of course, we all know the tower represents, you know, maybe a blow up or shake up disruption, okay, drama and BS. All right. So um, for some of you, it may not even be that serious. Okay, some of you may already be going through this energy. But you know, the tower card, it can bring about again, change or some sort of uncomfortable energy, but it could just be something as simple as a disagreement. Okay, so um, we'll just have to wait and see. Now let's talk about your advice messages really quickly. They may pertain to this situation, or it may be about something else in your life. Okay, but we have expect a miracle. And it says have faith that your prayer have been heard and are being answered all right there could be kids involved here for some of you okay because this uh, woman here she does have a baby in her arms we've also got a uh, leap uh, yeah leap of faith take a risk and put your heart's true desires into action so some of you could be considering making some sort of move here I don't know reaching out to them or they're considering reaching out to you or this could be about you know moving literally okay relocating could be a new job or whatever all right but uh somebody needs to build up the confidence to take a leap of faith in some sort of area here we've also got inner wisdom and it says you know what to do trust your intuition and take appropriate action without delay okay so that kind of relates to what i was saying uh here okay taking action with this leap of faith and with the uh pay attention to the red flags okay that's about intuition all right and inner wisdom so i hope that made sense to you guys if this resonated feel free to like share comment and subscribe also again guys because i know somebody's gonna ask i'm not doing personals right now but i will be sure to uh, let you all know when i start back okay thank you cappies take care